everybody. I'm Katie Evans with the Living 48 Real Estate Team here at Keller Williams Realty East Valley. Super excited to be back with you guys for another one of our market updates. Oh my gosh, so excited to go over with you guys how 2020 ended up in the Arizona real estate market. We have some crazy, crazy stuff to talk about, numbers we didn't think we'd be seeing this year, all kinds of fun stuff. So. Let's start at the beginning. Let me kind of step out of the way here so that we can go over our factoids. We're gonna start on this side over here. Um, just wanna run you through. These are kind of what ended up happening in December. We ended up the month of December with less than one month's worth of supply, you guys. Oh my gosh, that number keeps creeping down and down and down. We'll talk a little bit about that. Now what that translates over is to 21 days worth of inventory. So I've gotten a lot of questions about like, what's the difference between supply and inventory? The simplest explanation that I can give it to you is like, go back into your math and, you know, high school math and it'll explain it to you. But we're looking at the past 30 days when we're talking about supply. But when we're talking about inventory, this is actually annualized over the year. So what does it look like right now? over the whole entire year, okay? So that's kind of what that does. Um, now in the month of December, we saw our active days on market go up, not by a lot, just by a couple, and our closed days on market also went up by just a hair. So not too much to worry about. And actually super expected with all of the holidays and everything else going on, it pushes things out normal, 30 day close of escrow, it pushes it out a little bit more because we have so many closure days. So. Don't worry about that. That's all right and normal as it has been over the last little while. So don't stress over that. Let's jump over to this other side really fast. Our active price per square foot again went up. So we're looking at about $286 a square foot is our active. Our sold price per square foot is $212 a square foot. So again, that number went up. Our average sold uh, went up $431,765 and our median sold stayed the same, stayed level, didn't change at all at $330,000, all right? Now, those are over the last 30 days. So we're gonna talk here a little bit more about what happened over the last 12 months. In fact, let me get out on this side a little bit. Um, average sold over the last 12 months was 394,622. Our median sold over the last 12 months was 315,000. And what we wanna point out to you a little bit here is about our appreciation. Over the last 12 months, our appreciation rate has been about 13.6%. Over the last 30 days, it's been about 14.6%, all right? So let's talk about what happened, what just happened? Oh my goodness. Um, we're starting to have conversations about affordability with these numbers continuing to go up all the time and our supply going down and and our um our appreciation continuing to go up we're having conversations about affordability now and that conversation you guys have been talking about it for a long time we keep pushing back on it about where's the bubble where's the bubble where's the bubble well, we're gonna to continue to push back on you guys just a little bit on that, okay? So, affordability is becoming an issue. However, we have demand that is insane. Let me just kind of go through what happened here um, in the month of December. So, actually, as we start this month, January of 2021, we are starting with the lowest starts to any month in over 10 years. Okay, so we started December at 9,823. And we thought that at the end when we hit like 12,000 that that was low. Now here's the problem. As we start January, we are at 6,558 new units coming onto the market. So that supply number continues to be a challenge. Well, here's the interesting thing, okay? We actually closed in the month of December over 10,000 units, which is the most we've closed in a December in over 10 years. So like the market is moving and we're still setting records for the most numbers of houses closed. How are we doing that? It's because of the speed of the market. So when we talk about inventory being so low and inventory being so low because buyer demand is so high, the minute that we put a property on the market, it's gone. 
For any of you who have been out there and are actually trying to buy in the market right now, you're experiencing this and you understand. It's like if you don't jump on a house the minute that it goes to market and you don't get an offer in right away, you don't even play the game because by if it listed on Thursday, by Monday, they've got multiple offers and they're accepting them. All right, so it is truly, truly the speed of the market that is really affecting these numbers. Now, again, these going up means nothing to me right now because it's just normal seasonality because we've had um, extra holidays through this period of time when things are trying to close. All right, so here's just a couple of things that I wanted to share with you from our little factoids today. December truly was a record shattering month. Uh, 10,020 units were closed in December. This is the most in a December in more than 10 years. It was a 13% increase month over month and a 24% increase year over year. The previous high over the past 10 years was 8,401 units that closed and that was back in 2010. All right, so it's crazy. So here's what we kind of want to say to the 2020 pandemic. Mm, neener, neener, all right? In real estate, Arizona real estate, we got away with murder this year and it was awesome for the Arizona real estate market and for housing values. Now. Here's a couple little interesting things that I want to share with you. Now you can't see this, it's on my uh, little piece of paper here, but I have um, the, met the major Metro Phoenix area activity for all of December. So all of the different price ranges, we've got them broken down. What I want you to know is that in every single price range, the active numbers were lower than they were in November. The sold numbers, for every single price range in the month of December were up from November. And the month of supply in every single price range dropped from November to December. All right, so we are starting out January with even lower inventory numbers than normal. Now, am I totally surprised about that? Absolutely not. We see this every single year, pandemic or not a pandemic. We have a drop in inventory, it's our, our seasonality. What we're gonna see now is we're gonna see, well, hopefully, we're gonna see numbers slowly start to rise as far as inventory numbers until we hit our peak market, which is normally in April, May, June, those kinds of months. Now, this last year in 2020, we didn't see that. We saw a drop around the pandemic and then we saw a recovery that stayed high until the very very end of the year when our inventory numbers kept falling all right so that's really what i wanted to share with you if you guys want to to kind of drill these number down, numbers down more if you want to look just at the west valley just at the east valley the numbers are different if you start pulling them out of the overall picture and to pull them even into your specific neighborhood it's even more specific for you guys so remember while these numbers that i'm sharing with you and the numbers that you're hearing on the news are on a national level i'm sharing with you on a statewide level but your real estate market is very very micro so if you are interested in knowing what exactly is happening in your neighborhood in your neck of the woods with the values of your personal property let us help you out this year we offer a free home valuation no obligation, no cost to you. Let us just kind of give you an idea of the value of your home right now. Should you decide to refinance? Should you decide to sell? What are your options right now? Let us just help inform you on what your personal real estate portfolio looks like. So we're here to be a resource to you. We want to be a help to you. We want to guide you through the Arizona real estate market. If there's any questions that we can answer for you or any help that we can give you, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can reach me, Katie Evans, at 480-415-1341. Or of course, you're always welcome to visit our website at www dot living for eight real estate dot com and of course we're on all the social media sites and we would love to connect with you there thanks you guys so much for watching to the end of this video and we will catch you in february for our next monthly market update